How are you doing? How's life? Welcome to my Vanville Regret video. This is the official video, although I have talked 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 talk talk about that before. Talk oh, fuck. Hello and welcome to my official Fan Build Regret video. The only thing you'll regret after this video was watching it. Thank you. Okay. So, since I built my van myself, bought everything, did everything, this is 100% me, I have a massive wealth of information to share with you about van builds. Right. So, let me share with you that information. I've shared it a little bit before, but this is the official video. If you don't know, Gloria took me a year and a half to build. I did everything, including the van, like buying the van, everything in the van, everything cost me under 10,000, all right, 10,000 pounds. This was a van build that I thought so much about, like a year and a half of building the van, 90% of the time was just me thinking. And so thankfully there are not many things I regret about Gloria, but I'm gonna share with you some things that I picked up on my two and a half year journey. Let's get to it. All right, first up, I'm gonna show you my first regret. And it is this here tap. All right, she's gold. She's glorious. I bought a tap fit for a queen. But unfortunately, this tap, I knew it when I bought it, but I wanted it because it was gold. Doesn't reach any of the corners of the sink. <laughs> she doesn't reach a single corner. And if you're parked at a slight, you know, a little gradient, game over. Your sink is just gonna pile, the water's gonna pile in one corner, and the rest of your sink is just gonna be dirty, and then you can't clean it, and it's, it's, it's not fun, all right? And it doesn't drain, and it's just, it's not cute. So if I can offer you one piece of advice, get a tap with one of the sprinkler nozzles on it, or that has... <laughs> I was literally about to twist that and I was like, no way, it has a hose in it this whole time. That would have been a tragedy, but also pretty fun. Um, or get one of the taps that has a hose in it. You won't regret that. The sink's fine. I would have liked it to be gold, but at the time of building, it was 10 times the price of a stainless steel silver sink. So, had to go with the silver. To this day, I'm not happy about it, but it's okay. So let's move on to the next thing. Oh, I have such a bad regret. It It's ruined my life, honestly, okay? Come here, come here. I don't regret my chandelier. She is in tatters, tatters, but she's still the light of my life. But what I wanna talk about is the shower so if you don't know this is actually a shower i built so up here is where you hang the shower curtain of these little copper bars and then this comes up and then you know you just skedaddle into it and do your thing but there is one huge problem the first being it is currently my wardrobe that's big problem. Secondly, is uh, I don't have a mixer tap, okay? I don't have a mixer tap. Why don't I have a mixer tap on my shower? Because I thought that I could program the water heater to like the perfect temperature and not have to worry about a mixer tap. And this was right near the end of the van build. And I was like, if I have one more thing to do in the van, I'm gonna just ditch it on the side of a road. Also, it was a one tap situation because it would have meant plumbing in a whole new pipe system to the cold outlet. And honestly, at this point in the build, it was one of the last things I did. I was cutting every corner humanly possible, but it severely backfired because my hot water comes out literally 80 degrees, okay? and I had to wash my hair with that. It is so painful. It is so painful. It just was not a living standard that I wanted to deal with. Either a burning head or like five jugs of water on the floor trying to like wash my hair. It was just an absolute drama that did not need to happen. 
And you might be like, Amy, why did you not just plumb one in now? Because my shower, nothing in the van has leaked. And I am so proud that nothing leaked and everything works that I am scared if I tinker around with things at this point, two and a half years down the road, that things are gonna start to go wrong and things are gonna leak. That is a drama that I absolutely do not need. So it's staying like that and I don't really shower in my van anymore. So I'm warning you now, get a mixer tap in your shower. And as for the shower in general, if this is your full time life, build your van around a shower that is functional and beautiful and perfect. Put all your money into a shower. What would be my next van build regret? Give me a second, give me a second. A regret would be not getting an espresso machine quick enough. Could have done it so much sooner, would have made my life better. However, sometimes I do miss the craft and the drama of, of making like a filter coffee. Sometimes I do think maybe I've made my life too easy having a machine. You know, there's, there's no art to it. Which I don't love, but equally I do love because <laughs> I decided to make an instant coffee the other day the stuff I used to drink and I also made a filter coffee and uh, I couldn't drink either of them. So my next point is get an oven. Just do it. Don't, don't do the hob. Don't just have a hob. It will ruin your life. The problem is, is I don't actually have space for an oven and I really don't want to make space for an oven because that means rejigging all my cupboards. Granted, I have not had an oven in here, so I cannot give you an accurate representation of what it would be like to have one. But I can imagine it being glorious. With a hob, you have to cook everything on it, and uh, it just gets so greasy in here. I've got grease all up my windows, all across everything. Katana? I've got a Katana XL. Before Katana XL, I had katana and she was just covered in oil literally everything gets covered in oil and also with the gas when you cook anything when it's really oily it just like sets the gas alight and it's terrifying <laughs> also you just burn everything or at least i do because i always try and cook stuff made for an oven in a frying pan so moral of the story buy an oven buy an oven but don't buy an electric oven unless you have like 20 lithium batteries in the back i have four lithium batteries in the back 100 amp hours each they're great they last a few days but still after a few days they're gone and the only thing i'm running off it are the lights charging my phone and my fridge which brings me to my fridge don't get a household fridge don't do it don't get a small household fridge actually which brings me to my next point get a big fridge I hate my fridge. There, I said it. My fridge is possibly the thing I hate the most in my van. You know, I still hold love for it. It's kept my food kind of cold for the last two odd years. If I was to get any fridge, I would get a gas fridge or a gas electric fridge. And I would get the biggest one that could possibly fit in my van. Get one with a freezer in it. My fridge has a cooler box does not keep anything cool the shelf i have one measly little shelf to put all my food in so i am at a supermarket every two days every two days buying more stuff and it's not cute it's not chic don't recommend it okay you hear me oh my gosh and last all right i think this will be my last point do not unless you have to because you can't buy an actual kitchen countertop. Don't use wood. Do not use wood. My wood, I've waxed it with beeswax. I've sanded it. It was really easy, actually, and one of the things I was most proud of, ironically, in the van, because it was just, 
it just I, I cut it perfectly and I, I loved it so much I can't clean it honestly it's so hard to clean okay you've got the you got all right so you've got the 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 what the fuck I can't find English words anymore the oil splashes the oil splashes they go everywhere so my counter is oil also I've burnt it twice using the Omni oven I burnt the countertop loads now actually you just can't clean it you can't clean it you can't clean it very well so get a proper kitchen countertop if you're doing this full time and to be honest even if you're doing it part time get a proper kitchen worktop or at least get some kind of coating that seals the thing because this has actually been pretty gross and yeah also I give myself splinters to this day on this countertop and I've sanded it so many times and it, it's like naturally worn down over time because I just like standing on it like this still get splinters still get splinters uh, the last thing would be actually the bed now my bed is too short for me I'm 5'9 I have to sleep diagonally it is a true 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 issue so make sure your bed is long enough for you it's a big problem in vans because the bed takes up so much space i still don't regret having a fixed bed though i wouldn't change it for the the benches with the table no i know myself i know that i'm way too lazy to do that every night <laughs> and plus i already know that 99 percent of the time those beds are gonna be uncomfortable however that brings me to my next point is I have absolutely no room for hospitality in, in my van which is fine because I built my van for me I've had a few guests in my time and it's just no room there's like literally no room in the future maybe I want to be holding parties in here definitely not gonna happen but I might if she was that impractical there's no way I would have been able to live in her for so long actually that's a lie that's a, she's very impractical to live in but she's practical enough you know I have my cooking area I have my wardrobes I have um, my bed is comfortable for a bed and there's enough space for me to like walk around in and you know what more so than any of that Gloria has a presence she's enchanted she's wonderful she is the bane of my life <laughs> but also the love she's a really special special van i wouldn't have wanted to live in anything less or more practical oh that's one more thing sorry i almost forgot the last thing i wanted to say that i regretted was not having an air conditioning system being in your van in a hot place is pretty much unbearable it is actually unbearable like do you remember last year i drove to spain i drove to spain just to try and find somewhere cooler and it worked but then i got depressed because it was raining <laughs> if you're a full-time van lifer or plan to go to hot places in the summer for long periods of time and you need to like work in your van and do all this kind of stuff and you can afford it buy air conditioning do it do it do it do it because being in a van in the summer when it's hot is absolutely awful it is like the thing that has made me almost quit everything that is how bad it is that's a piece of advice that's from me to you with love all right so i hope that that was useful information like it does make a big difference whether you're living in your van full time or not if you're doing this then get yourself a big fridge that runs off gas get yourself an oven that runs off gas make sure your bed is long enough build your van around your shower have 60,000 liters of water in the back 20 lithium batteries five wardrobes and an espresso machine <laughs> Now it can seem so overwhelming and there are so many pros and cons to honestly everything. My biggest advice would be figure out 
honestly what you want to do for a shower that is your that is what you build everything around because seriously showering you know you want to you don't want to be spending your whole life trying to figure out where you're gonna shower like finding where you're gonna park it's fun finding where you're gonna shower is it's just not fun especially in Europe because you know you could sign up to a gym but realistically there, there isn't like a consistent gym chain throughout Europe or if there is I have not come across it and I have done quite a lot of research and even if there is a gym that's consistent in one country they are so spread out that you will be driving you know two hours to go and have a shower screw that screw that it's not cute it's not fun and campsites campsites again like where I am right now there's no campsites for ages they're shut every single one is shut so it's not that easy and it will really impact your your van life experience you know especially if you you do something where you have to you know show up and look good so really figure out what you want to do with a shower and um an oven is a is a nice luxury uh, but you know what a stove is okay air conditioning honestly if you're doing van life in summer it is almost necessary if you really want to suffer and you or you just don't have a budget for it then it's doable but it will it sucks it sucks so much just a warning you know van plus heat in summer even if it's insulated and has a max air fan not cute it is awful uh, and a big fridge is a luxury it's not necessary but it's it's a really good thing to have and as many things run off of gas as possible do it but yeah i'm sharing this with you because i have i have the information and you know everybody does van life for different reasons and whatever but i really like my van to be my home and i'm sure many of you do too so if you want it to feel like home follow the steps that i just gave in this video but otherwise just go for it do whatever you do whatever you want to do and i know i don't normally do videos like this so you might you're probably not even going to build a van but if you've watched this because you want to build a van don't let the things i said scare you because you can live in a van or with a mattress on the floor i'm just saying the way that you can make it nice <laughs> for yourself and if you really care about your living standard and people are gonna have advice for you and all of that stuff and i think it's always important to listen um and take on board what you want but don't let people scare you um it's not necessary this is what happens when you don't let people scare you you live in a pink van with a chandelier life's supposed to be magical and wonderful and if you can make it that way do it i will see you next week thank you so much for watching lots of love I'd like to introduce you to a new member of the family it's a massive katana so katana my old leopard actually lioness oh shit katana may she rest in peace she went through a rough time okay it was difficult for her she lost quite a lot of her body due to a falling in <laughs> a falling incident she could no longer stand so proudly in my kitchen so I found a giant katana and we're not replacing her we're just getting a new symbol for her life okay make sense good